Hey guys, let's talk about widgets, all about widgets um, and what they are and what their use is and how you add them to your WordPress site. So I'm going to go straight into my WordPress dashboard and then under the appearance I'm going to go to the widgets page. A widget is basically a plugin that allows you to easily add content to your website. So as you can see I have tons of widgets because a lot were already uh, installed with my theme and a lot I've installed myself. And so for example I had for my theme Avada it came with a Flickr widget. And to add a widget to your page you just go ahead and drag it over to one of your sidebars or your footers. As you can see here I have a blog sidebar, I have a footer. So a footer is the bottom of your website that appears on all of your pages. A blog sidebar is the sidebar, the side of the blog. Let me show you um, on my website what it looks like where you can add information. So here's my blog sidebar. I have a search bar where you can search all of my posts. You know, you can subscribe with your email to my content. You can like us on Facebook. I have I show my recent posts and I also have some ads. Um, so as you can see here, all of those things are widgets in my blog sidebar. So I have a search widget, I have a subscription widget, I have a Facebook like box, and that came with Avada, recent post widget, and then the ads, it's all with text and uh, some code that I get from my Google ads and from Bluehost. And in my footer, I also have a subscription, recent posts, uh, my recent tweets, a Facebook likes box, um, and all a couple other widgets. And so they basically have widgets for everything, um, whether you're looking to have your Twitter feed or to have a daily photo, you'll be able to, ha to, to find a widget for that. And like I said, you just add it to your sidebar and then you can customize it so you can add a title to it. Um, different ones have more customization involved, so for my subscription uh, widget, you know, I have a title, I have uh, more information. Uh, for this subscription lit, if I had multiple lists, uh, email lists, I can choose which list I want them to subscribe to. I can ask for their first name and last name or none. Um, and yeah, so once I have it on there, it's on all my pages. And if I ever cust edit this, then it changes on all my pages, which is really nice. Rather than having to add this widget, custom text, uh, HTML to each page, I can just add it to my blog sidebar and when I update it on my widgets page I can it updates on across my entire website. To find new widgets you go to plugins and then add new and then for example say we want a YouTube widget or we can um, basically have a link to the latest YouTube video or something like that or embed a YouTube video into my sidebar you know, I just typed in YouTube into the search bar and all these came up. You can find more details. And, you know, you'll have screenshots or different things like that. And if you find one that you like, just go ahead and install it. It'll ask you to install. You install it. And then it will appear in your widgets folder. Um, so it's as easy as that. But it's also can, can be confusing, so if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, but other than that, that's how you install your own widgets and how you customize them and how you find a widget for anything that you need. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and until next time, have a great day. Bye.